Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GameStar TV. Thank you for sticking around. I know that that was like a 15 or 20 minute break, I think, uh, between rounds. But unfortunately, we are bound by having to wait for these matches to complete. They did, in fact, so all around matches, around one matches have completed. Uh, we saw Militia Gaming go down 7-0 to Slices. The other two matches were both 7-4 results. So Tilted Towers beating Unknown 7-4. And Astonish picking up four rounds against top of the table Mind Freak. So they will be very, very pleased with that performance because taking one round off of Mind Freak is something that teams cheer for. Uh, taking four is uh, pretty much... Uh, uh, not unheard of, but it is a fantastic result for any team going up against Mindfreak. My name is Crisis. Once again, I am joined in the studio by Winters. And Winters, our next match coming up is the top of the table clash between Mindfreak and Slices. Crisis, I am very excited right now, especially given the prowess that the uh, team from Slices is showing against Militia. Uh, and with Mind Freak dropping a few rounds against Astonish, is today the day that Mind Freak lose a match? Well, you know, if they've gone on tilt, uh... <laughs> who knows? Let's hope they haven't tilted. Uh, but I'd love to see Slices take away a victory here, guys. Yeah, so uh, hang on. Uh, we've just got um, a question coming through from uh, some. <laughs> Uh, uh, some of the teams don't know how to read brackets, so <laughs> 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 let me just uh, let me just help them. Uh, you you take it away, man. Just uh, to talk about the match just a little bit. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> All right, so we will be playing the second round of our is tournament on Foundation. Uh, so we're gonna have a lot of good coverage, a lot of good uh, mid battles. I'm hoping throughout the three points of A, B, and C. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Escalation, just to recap quickly, it is similar to a King of the Hill style game where there's three points, A, B, and C to capture. And if your team, COG, or otherwise dominate all three points at the same time, you will win that round. Now, uh, it does look like we are loading into the game today, folks. We have the map loading with our wonderful little observer camera uh, ghost type creature I, I do like him he's pretty cute <clears throat> so moments away team and we will be escalating on to foundry all right uh, so here we are loading into foundation and the Slicer's lineup, uh, as you can see, now on spawn. Uh, so, yeah, on spawn. As Mindfreak, the top seed, they will be walking up to the COG team. And we're going to roll out with Mercer right now. I don't actually think we saw Mercer play last week. He may well have, but uh, Mercer, of course, from the former Tainted Mind uh, roster, now playing for Mindfreak, uh, got picked up last year already so you know it's not really something new uh, but here we go uh, we switched over to the mingus because of mercer i was talking him up but uh winter he got smashed by mingus as, <laughs> and down uh, he goes <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was wonderful we were sitting there talking uh talking about he normally is very much on point you're right crisis and uh just as we start talking and singing his praises boom uh there takes a nasher to the face uh, we've got a bit of crossfire again in the midsection with the uh, teams running towards B. So let's see whether or not uh, JJM got to work his way out of this one. So Jim is uh, the captain of Mind Freak uh, and uh, usually pretty much a carry, doing a great job there, using the body uh, to keep himself as safe as he caps that hill. Rolls on out with the Nasha, 1v1. No, it's not 1v1 versus Sayer. And Asaya goes down, but that was an interesting opening because look at that, the spawn ticking over the 60 mark with uh, Mindfree uh, playing catch up. Which is absolutely uncommon crisis. Seeing, uh, seeing our swarm guys on absolutely taking it to Mindfree in this match. 
Although we do have Cobb domination coming in, and there we go. The round will go to the boys on Mind Freak. Yeah, so positive, positive openings for the Swarm. That is slices, uh, but uh, Mind Freak saying, well, you know what? We just gave you the opportunity to get in there. You've got your micro down, uh, but the macro game is what we're aware of, and the macro leads us to a triple cap. Uh, and 1-0 in favor of Mind Freak. So we're looking at what weapon goes down, and Mingus from Slices will have the opportunity to put it down. And right now, just hovering the standard kind of, I don't know what else to put down, so I'm going to put grenades. Uh, might I want to see a boom shot crisis. I want to see a boom shot. First cab off the rank on B. <laughs> All right, and so no, we, we will go the Boltock pistol. <laughs> So there you go, and uh, oh, hold on, we got a pause uh, called by dubbing up. And uh, so, what we have, uh, so the game doesn't actually have a pause mechanic uh, built into it. So what we will be doing instead uh, is watching the teams as they hang about in form. Uh, the team that has called the pause has got three minutes to get their player back in, and if they don't. Get their player back in, it doesn't matter. The match will, the round will start in. Anyway. So I'm going to just start a three minute timer over here and we'll see ha what happens. I do love spawn antics, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Being able to sit in spawn and uh, hit your mates in the back with the, the, the butt half of your shotgun or, or even just give them a couple of shots to the kneecaps. Yeah, nice. that's what you want. <laughs> a bit of shenanigans. So let's have a look. Jim, the captain of Mind Freak, topping the table in terms of kills. He's got five, uh, but a five and two ratio, kill death ratio. So uh, he's uh, getting himself into the thick of things. But the first player to break a ton, 1,000 points uh, is his score. Uh, leading the. Oh, there you go. We are. Why are we rolling out? We should not be rolling out um, at Kaz. Yeah. I think maybe Kurt's just going for a bit of a walk, a little bit yeah. of a cheeky look around, yeah, he's scouting out the field. The rules are <laughs> you have to wait in spawn until the player rejoins or until three minutes have passed. So uh, you're not actually supposed to go walk about. Fortunately, he didn't stand on any points or anything like that. So, you know. It's, uh, it's not the worst thing to happen. So, uh, as I was saying, leading the table for the slices is Mingus, uh, or Mingle, as Kaz likes to call him. Well, I had a chat with Kaz in between rounds uh, in voice chat, and he called him Mingles. So, we should maybe call him <laughs> Mingles instead of Mingus. Uh, but, yeah, he's got three kills uh, to his name. And Kurt Angles, the super substitute today for slices, uh, on the donut along with the sale right now. And we've got five players in, so we are going to roll out, dubbing up uh, Jimbo, Mercer, Wondy, and Summit. Now, in play. Wow, Crisis. Have you seen Bondi's get up today? I am flabbergasted. <laughs> well, let's uh, switch on over to Bondi. He's saying, uh, it's like he's gone through a rave. It's an outdoor rave. Uh, I feel like he's coming back from Mardi Gras. Yeah, he's got the slicer, the, uh, the lancer out, and uh, provides some support for his team as he kept that team uh, that he's standing on. Wow, there you go. The first couple of points have finally been captured. It took uh, about 30 or 40 seconds of actual play before that happened. Uh, it's right here, but yeah, comes right here. That goes with himself too. We're still with Bondi. He's still red right now. He can try and get away, but he's down. Jimbo manages to get up. Oh, it's a 2v1 for Jimbo, but he's down. First angle. Uh, we are sitting with him right now as he rolls on through. Great play over there. Picks up a kill on a Mercer and then rolls through to the B hill to cap it for the slices. That was some excellent agility there displayed by Kurt Angles. Running over, jumping, diving, like a little parkour assist. Uh, quite, quite agile. He's got the shotgun kill too. As he's defending the B point against two cog who would like to take it to him. Jumping, dodging, diving out of the way. Oh, the shotgun. This could be an MVP play. If he can stay alive, he can't and goes down. 
gives up the point as the Mighty Boys roll in as a group. It was, I think, three versus one there. So we'll, he can be forgiven for being taken down by Jimbo in the end there. Uh, he'll stick with Jimbo. Uh, uh, his next opponent is up to pops in a couple with the ball top. Finishes him off with the match. Goes to full red. Pops out the pistol. He's not afraid. Ducking down now. He's got support from Mercer. Who uh, takes points. So roll on through now. Heading to the A side. Uh, full red's gone for Jimbo. Rolls on in. He's got his match out. 2v1. 2v2 in fact. And uh, the smoke is ready. All that keeps his good angles alive. He goes down. Biggest rolls on through. He's going to be held off away before the domination comes through. And another triple for the Cog. But it took four and a half minutes. Uh, probably about a minute of that was a pause though, Winters. Yeah, so we, we do see uh, the Slicer Boys taking to Mind Freak. However, Mind Freak still just maintaining that superiority in terms of capping and holding all three points. So take a look at what weapon Kirk's going to place. Let's see some big impact here, team. Let's get a long shot, boom shot, talk bow even. He's going to place nothing. We've got the Boltok available at Welding and a Fountain. So each of the teams will be able to pick one of those up and roll on through, see if they can use it uh, tactically, because that is all that is going down. The discussion at Slices have concluded. We do not want anything, not even the wooden spoon weapon placement of a grenade of any sort. Doesn't go down at all. We're going to follow Summon uh, for Mind Freak. He's not a player that we've seen playing for Mind Freak. Well, let's see how Summit tackles the long-range engagement here at the middle with looking pretty accurate so far. And then we'll, uh, we'll of, of course, tackle into some Nasher play and uh, where accuracy is quite key. So let's, uh, let's see how Summit goes. Yeah, right now it's just support more than anything else. And maybe that's a wise decision considering he's uh, on the roster for the first time today. Puts a grenade down. You can see in the distance there, Mercer uses that as his uh, moment to push on for pick up the kill uh, with his uh, with his Nasher. Pick up a double in fact with Mingus, the MVP so far for Slices, going down. Summing right now in the middle of the map and now running on back to the A hill to get the cap down and secure the triple. Uh, not quite secure though because C is going to the storm instead. And that's something that we'll see quite frequently, Crisis. Mercer taking advantage of the down by any of his teammates. You throw a smoke grenade in there, he's going to come in with a shotgun and he is going to remove your head. Alright, so we've got three players right now defending uh, up at uh, that, I think it's the C point there, where with Mingus as he rolls on off. He's going to check out uh, the B side and put smoke down. And it's really just. I don't know, it's just to cause a distraction, Bond, and it's worked. Bondi is uh, not aware that he's coming to dunce on over there, but fortunately, Bondi has some support there. The Lance of Fire uh, making Mingus think twice about going on through there. They are going to go into a situation. Mingus now with the Lance uh, getting some fire down on through here. Dubbing up Mingus this is there before turning his attention back to Bondi, but the distraction was enough. He goes down. Cog are going to pick up a triple in just a moment. Uh, but once again, that uh, Sea Hill falling to the storm. Just enough. Then we see them uh, do a little bit of a backdoor jobby on A. So they snuck around there and took A straight out from Cog's nose. And it looks like they're doing the same thing again while well, Bundy's holding the uh, the B point here. He's getting infiltrated upon by three of the, the swarm boys from Slices. Let's see how he does. Always oh, a bit of backup here with Jim. Yeah, another smoke goes down from Mingus, but it's exactly at uh, the old spot. I think that's to obscure the positions uh, that, uh, that might be taken. Uh, that point in time, it's still on uh, any of the, uh, any of the cover. We go with Mingus at the moment. Oh, he manages to take down one, but it took so long that the reinforcements arrived for the, uh, Cog. And Mindfield once again maintaining their lead here. And 
although they're not going to get their triple cap. Oh, this could be close. If this is a triple cap for the slices, that will be an amazing turnaround. And off they almost do it. The domination denied as Jim comes into the three hills. He's uh, been taken down by uh, Bondi's there to support him. Pick him up, though. But they have managed to hold on to the ability. And we are getting into the territory of uh, two little two late, so close winters that uh, Mindfree managed to hold on at the end. And they take this round, four to zip. Swarm slices so close on that triple cap domination there. Another half a second, and that round would have been yours. I mean, an MVP play for sure from Jim and Bondi there. The two of them working together to take back B um, just in the absolute nick of time. You're right. It was like, uh, you know, that would have been a no ball by an inch. Uh, if it was uh, in cricket, uh, cricket turns just about. <laughs> so we're into the fourth round. 3-0 uh, on the board right now for Mindfreak as we roll on out uh, with uh, Let's Follow Virix this time round from the side. So Virix uh, and me have both had the highest skill counts in their last games against um, Militia. So let's see whether or not Virix can bring some further pain and uh, secure some slice of victory. Well, they had a great round. Uh, they're almost getting a mind creep. They've got to pull out another. Uh, wild things were turning over, though. Uh, we had Moonshot getting placed onto the map. Mercer is carrying it. Uh, he got a tiny little kill there. Cosmerich uh, gets another shot down, but this is the Has to pull out the slat of the matter. Doesn't do the business. Handles. That's a fantastic game. Bondi moves it away, but in comes one after the other. Team of Slices trying to get themselves onto this hill and prevent the triple cap. Uh, while it's all been happening, B's been broken uh, for the Slices. Uh, but only temporary Slicer, uh, Winters. Yes, Mind Freak certainly came back with a vengeance and said, Slices, think you're going to take a triple cap on us? Mm -mm. We are going to turn that right back around and we're going to triple cap you straight back. So once again, all four games of Mind Freak so far have been triple caps in their typical dominating fashion. Let's see whether or not Caramel can add a bit of different flavor to the mix here with an exotic weapon of some kind. And we have some frag grenades. So, well, I mean, I normally talk about the frag grenades as the kind of consolation weapon uh, placement because you don't know what else to put down. But we are into round number five. And it's the first time that grenades have been uh, put down by, uh, by these teams. So uh, this is uh, new and exciting, really. We are going to switch on over to Bondi in the right of our outfit uh, as he puts down the usual crossfire. Hanging on uh, with the long range. Mercer's got some dirty work to do. He's going to turn around there and uh, get the coverage by Mercer. Went down the stairs, has to come back on up. And uh, Bondi buys enough time, sacrifices himself to Saya as a result. Uh, but uh, Saya's now going to. Well, he's going to book it out there. Gets himself onto the A hill. Doesn't try to stick around. Oh, he's running like crazy. Uh, doing all that he can. He's full red now. And uh, does not get away from Jimbo. Who oh, he he tears him away. Switch on over to Jimbo. Getting great yeah. loss of fire down. Gets a kneecap off of the spawn player there. Gets himself taken down. But the support from the Mercer, who doesn't pick him up in time, gets taken down by Mingus. And now the rollout is on. It is two hills in favor of the Slicers. And they're going to push on through to this A hill. Caramel is there, tapping it over. The domination is denied for a moment there by Mighty. See, falling in the hands of Mighty. And look at this. 50 points have ticked over Winter for the Slicers. Uh, and they might get a triple cap here as well. Uh, when you get into the round five of the game here, ladies and gents, you'll notice the spawn time is heading up on 20 seconds. That will allow your opponent plenty of opportunity to get a domination with triple cap. Uh, 
Here we go. Kicking over to the 100 mark for the Bison. They'll be quite pleased with this, but not resting on their laurels because they know a lead like this can be lost so quickly. We will say it right now. Uh, after he gets that, uh, giving it down. Oh, there are three players now heading on uh, to that A side. Catching it now. Lance a fire across there for Sayer uh, as he tries to suppress the oncoming assault that uh, we expect to come from Mind Freak. 130 now to 45. So the slice is doing very, very well in this round number five. But here comes Mind Freak and rolling into A. Getting the cap on Sayer. Uh, gets himself caught in a corner there. Caps on over, but gets taken down an arrow to the knee and dubbing up is going to finish him off uh, as he heads on back to the a side and as we follow the uh the comp plays here breaking that ring of swarm domination we are going to swap it straight back over and mind freak will take this round in a clean sweep so goodness me about 100 well more than 150 points picked up mm -hmm. by the swarm uh, slices will have been very well they should have been very happy with that and when you get to that 150 point region you should stop trying to triple cap you need to just consolidate your your defenses choose two of the points and make sure that you hold on to them uh, because they were so far in the lead um, i think even if they had held one point they would have been able to uh, tick on up to the 200 mark in time to win the, the round uh, on their 210. So they'll be kicking themselves for giving away that lead as we roll on out this time with the Caramel or Kaz as we know him in this course. He's the captain for the strike. So Kaz diving straight into a big old plot of smoke there, rolling out the other side, and Chabu, there's a Nash awaiting for him. From <laughs> 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 at all. There goes a uh, couple of massive shots. Huge firefight in the center area of the of the map. As we head on round, but uh, Jimbo doing the janitorial duties there, cleaning up the spawn, lying on the ground there. Uh, his he's keeping a tidy heads on over to see it's himself uh, a boom <laughs> shot uh dunning up there is the man standing there got his revenge for him but uh he comes to boom shots uh clears it away uh he's and just like that quick as you please the triple wow. count comes through and it is six and oh with slices still not getting themselves up on the board Yes, yeah, another one minute domination triple cap from the legends at Mind Freaks. Slices going into round seven. Uh, we have respawn timers reset back down to 10 seconds and weapons removed from the map. This is the opportunity for them to clear that donut. Let's see what they've got, Crunch. Yeah, it's the last opportunity, in fact, uh, unless they actually. Yes, it's in fact the last opportunity. So here we go. We're following Dunning up right now. Heads on into a little lot of action in the center area of the match. Each time the round has started, uh, Dunning up against the field angles down. Yes, they second onto Virix. Rolls on through. Heads on up to E. Can he get his third in a row? Sayer is then. Oh, 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 oh. And Sayer says, Sorry, mate. No highlight reel for you. Uh, you're going to get killed away. And. Well, they're going to be hanging on for their dear life, doing everything right so far. Winters getting those two hills in their favor and starting to edge out a lead. Indeed. Their rotations are a little sharper at the moment. Their accuracy on point. Say are shutting down, dubbing up with that shotgun as he goes around the corner. Let's see whether or not they can maintain this momentum and keep it and take a win. So they got two points. It's not an emphatic lead just yet. It might be still holding on to that moment and keeping within range, but it should start to grow. And we'll see now whether the boys on... Oh, we've had one look, drop. Well, they got to play the round out, I think. Uh, they got to play this round out. Uh, so this is a five versus four situation in favor of the Spawn right now. So this is slightly uh, kind of the best conditions that they could actually hope for uh, in this match. Uh, we've had players dropping. We had one player dropping from mine earlier on in the round. But luckily for them, uh, it didn't cost them that round. 
one, but I think it might well cost them this round. Uh, Winters, uh, as we wait for Mindfreak to see if they can get their full play. Yeah, hopefully they can reconnect soon, and it's nothing. There's nothing worse than being one player. Five v five tournament of any kind. Um, our swarm slices. They're just going to do what they're going to do, and if that happens to be taking this win uh, through a circumstance outside of their control, well then, so be it. Uh, yeah. It will be one round down. So, um, so right now, Mind Freak's only task or their, their goal is really to extend the round as long as possible. So they'll hold on to this E hill, maybe do get some get some looks on out uh, towards the other hills, but I don't. I, well, they're actually going to be rolling out. They, they're they feeling confident enough that they might go for a second hill. Uh, and that's really to uh, extend the time as long as possible to give their player a chance to get back in. They'll have three minutes once this round in to get their player back in. But of course, they've got six rounds in hand uh, for this to happen. Um, to get a player in before they actually use them. So, you know, it's not all bad for them. Not looking great. But in the end there, Swarm pick up a round. Slices are on one point now. They clear the donut of the, the board. They might feel a little dirty the way they've uh, gotten it, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a full five versus five going, Winters, as we head into round number eight. And as we do head into round number eight, Christ, we are some weapon placements from Jimbot. Uh, it's looking likely to be a sniper rifle. Uh, rifle so he's placed a long shot smack bang in the middle of the map it looks like our mind freaks boys are back on base and uh, ready to roll out so let's kick off into the action take okay. it away Chris. once again five versus five as we head on out uh, we're gonna give Kurt Kendall, uh, as he uh, whips out his back there. He's going to be on point, heads on down. He's almost got his half red, I'd say. Uh, just looking down to that box. Just clear the way. Uh, and gives completely Jim uh, doing the business. Picks up the long shot. And now we'll see some heads. Oh, takes a shot. Doesn't quite land it, though. It was a no Just scope. missed Sayer off to the side there. It was very close. Yeah. Just missed. Not good enough. Uh, <laughs> they are sitting pretty right now. Six and one on my team. As we uh, see out. if they can close things out. Yeah. Round number eight. Yeah. 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 Away. Yeah. Long shot. Yeah. 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 Caramel is behind them though. They weren't expecting this great play from Caramel. And what play from Bondi comes to. Clears away Caramel. Picks up Jimbo. And uh, that was a fantastic support play there. Ex excellent decision making. Cleared away Caramel. Then picked up the player. Uh, Jimbo. And um, now we have a 2-1 hill uh, capture situation for Mikey. And Caramel standing his ground against those three cog boys just then was very gutsy, but ultimately paid with his life and gives everywhere. Now we see a bit of a practice occurring towards this D point here with a, a lot of cog um, coalescing towards this point and trying to now move out most likely towards the, uh, the middle of the map there. So let's see how this eventuates. What's Jim Bob going to do? Looking for a snipe. We can see some swarm coming towards D. They would like to take this second point. They have lost E, but have translated uh, that over to a point tinkering on F. Oh, Jimbo with a couple of body shots, one after the other with that long shot. Uh, and then that is it. Uh, he gets taken down, but it's a good play as well. So he looks on me now. Uh, defending the D hill right now. He's defending the top line. Caramel comes in. Captain versus Bondi. And uh, the captain wins out. So Caramel will break the D hill. Holding on for dear life. He's coming up, taking his time, waiting for the reinforcements to arrive. He's not going to rush on in there and give himself up. And well, uh, well chosen to do so. Uh, decides to hold on back. Caramel pushing forward. 
189 is the ticker. We are running out of time, and uh, Mindfreak knows that it's time for the Slicers to make a play, or they are out there, so they're just waiting for them to come to them, and it's been working so far. Here we go. Caramel now trying to get the play on this hill now. He gets taken down. Uh, oh, Jim. Jim was there to spoil things for him. And it's Jim ruined to... Caramel's day and dashed all of Slice's hopes and dreams with one fell shotgun blast. So 7-1 in the end is the match result. And that is... Well, I mean, so the way that the points work, one point is definitely better than no points at all. So that will add on to the leaderboard score of the Slices, even though they've lost. Uh, and they'll each pick up their 75 point participation uh, participation points uh, or participation credits as we like to call them PCs um, but in the end the slices not able to take it down top of the table mind free and so we are going to head to a break now ladies and gentlemen before round number three and uh, we'll announce later on when that round starts exactly who is going to be playing uh, of course as with each of the rounds we've got to wait for the other matches to complete hopefully it won't be too long before those matches complete and we'll have a short break so we're going to hope it's only going to be five minutes we'll put a five minute timer on there go and grab a drink have a quick bio and then be back for round number three right here on gamestar tv <laughs> 